Hello everybody, welcome to AAA. My name is Ozaris, I'm joined by Mr. McCheese. Uh, today we'll be looking at World of Warcraft. It's a fairly known MMORPG made by <laughs> Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, it came out um, November 20th, 2004 in the US and February 11, 2005 in the EU. That's a fairly big gap, actually. Yeah, was... Anyway, we're here yeah, the logging uh, screen. They were still running some. Uh, they were still running some uh, beats, as far as I remember, uh, mm -hmm. during the during the Christmas. And... Yes, indeed. for us poor guys in the in the EU that couldn't play on the American servers. <laughs> I guess VPN wasn't a very big thing yet back then. VPN Not for service. me at least, no. No, no, yeah. I wasn't that technical back then. <laughs> uh. Anyway, we're here in the logging screen, uh, the character creation screen, sorry. <clears throat> As you can see, there are two factions, Alliance and Horde. Um, each have a couple of races you can choose from. Um, and of course, your standard male and female, and classes. Uh, classes. Some classes are available for some races, and you can make different combinations. Um, there's only one class right now that can be played by every race, and that is Death Knight. That class got added in the second expansion called Wrath of the Lich King. And they decided to make it for everything because it's a hero class and you start at level 55 so they figured to just everyone was able to become one <clears throat> but uh, as you can see it's fairly simple the character creation screen uh, not a lot of options compared to what we've seen in the past actually which is kind of odd um, I've never spent too much time in the character creation screen because there's really not that many options here but uh, if you go to like Tarn here, you see that you can change the horn style, which is kind of neat, I guess, and the hair. But it's all very simple. It's nothing like too drastic. Yeah, everyone looks kind of the same, except for maybe the skin color. But you'll be covered up in gear anyway, so it's not really a big deal. But <clears throat> uh, a lot of this stuff here to the right, the Tarn and the Death Knight, this information that you see here, roll tank damage, that stuff got added later to the game. In the beginning of World of Warcraft, this wasn't even there. It was just pretty uh, sandboxy. But they streamlined the game a lot more than, uh, over the years. So, we'll hop out of this and go to my level 9 hunter. We're not running any add-ons because we figured we'd just show the game raw. We have been playing well since release ourselves, so uh, we obviously use add-ons. But uh, for the sake of this look, uh, we're not using them because it just gets confusing. And the UI actually looks quite decent for what it is. It does. It really does. Uh, it's it's functional, and they've also been adding a lot to it. And um, what, what I think I like the most about the add-on in World of Warcraft is that is the look of it, the feel of it. It just it looks very sweet and it looks very stylish compared to some of the other games we've been playing. And yeah. there's button, uh, more or less everything is mapped to a button, and you can close everything by escape and stuff like that. It's just it's very very streamlined. Yeah, do you uh, you see right here? This is what it's always looked like. The, nothing has much changed. They've just added some things like. Achievements they got added uh, in Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, they've enhanced the quest log a bit so that you can track your objectives better. And uh, they now have a guild finder, which actually got added in the latest expansion. Uh, raid finder also got added actually in the latest patch. We have the uh, dungeon journal. Dungeon journal here. This also didn't. This also all this stuff that I'm showing you right now was not in the original game. Um, and then you here have also Dungeon Finder, which I cannot do right now because we're too low level for a dungeon, and then player versus player. And the talents, which we'll get to in about half a level. So, but yeah, it's 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 
compact and simple uh, looks nice and it's quite obvious this game didn't really have a tutorial or anything and you just had to learn the game by yourself but it it worked very well at least for me i mean obviously when i had started playing I was a noob and my first character was horrible but you know the basic stuff was easy to master which you can't yeah. say from when I when we look at EverQuest, which I mean I'm pretty I consider myself a pretty cons uh, experienced MMORPG player, but when I play that game I still get confused, which is not a good thing, uh, I'd say, for new players. I'd say that I think WoW has done a pretty good job at uh, keeping the base things pretty simple, and then you have a lot of extra features that you can dig into if you like, like the dungeon finder and the raid finder and stuff. But most of these features aren't really relevant when you start at first, and then you will slowly, they'll be introduced to you rather slowly over uh, while you level. Um, which I think is a fairly good way to see it, and you should see that as well when we turn level, uh, uh, turn level 10, or get to level 10 quite soon. Yeah. Okay, so we just need to kill some bats out here. Yeah. But. Uh Almost everything, like this guild thing that comes up, this is all added later. This when this game first came out, it was very sandboxy. Uh, it was uh, not even that streamlined when it came to questing. Right now, you can level from one to max level with very streamlined quest system. But back then, around level 40, 50, you start running out of quests, and you had to actually go into the world to look for them and which I actually always thought was a very cool aspect of the game, but they've changed that, and it's not necessarily for the bad, because it works very well in this game. You just uh, go through a set path, and uh, it's very enjoyable, actually. Especially after yes, Cataclysm exactly. came out, where they they remade all this content that you see right here. Uh, these two big islands, which were in the main game, uh, they completely revamped those and did, redid all the quests and all that. So it's even it's very streamlined now. Yeah, so I've been playing the the new zones or the the remade zones a bit here in uh, in the latest expansion, and they they do feel very good. I mean, you are never in doubt of where 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 you're supposed to go next. There'll always be a quest leading you to the next area or stuff like that and every zone mm -hmm. has like some major storyline it's going through and everything just seems to be tied very well together and and you can just from when you start your character until you are hitting max level you will always have something to do yeah on the and downside there's not much exploration to it to it anymore no it's they uh, changed the game significantly significantly when it came to certain stuff uh, this game used to have a lot of elite areas and um, uh, like harder mobs where you need to be in a group in order to uh, to do it and uh, world bosses uh, world pvp but they kind of stepped away from that and the game as it is is now very uh, instance based if you want to do something you queue up for an instance or for pvp and that's how you do it which is not necessarily a bad thing because wow is really good at what it does when it comes to raiding and 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 instancing uh, but it's also kind of sad that they completely stepped away from getting people out into the world yes yes exactly it is it is something you'll miss as an old player and and now we have been trying to play some other games and it seems like they are at least having some more stuff to do out in the world, mostly because they don't have nearly as much uh, instant stuff, at least. No. Oh, go away, bear. Yeah, there's a lot to say about it. I mean, if you like you, if you like raiding and stuff like that, uh, then this game is perfect for you. But if you're... Uh, a lot of people, like the old school players, say that they've missed Vanilla WoW, uh, which is the original WoW World of Warcraft, that's what we call it, but um, I don't think I would want to go back to it because that concept doesn't work anymore, it's too old because it too, it's too time-consuming if any of you people have played Rift then you know what I mean because that 
that game is very much like original WoW when it comes to grinding and I don't think that is the the, the way to go. And I want to go back in the world but I don't want to spend hours doing one thing. But uh, I think uh, Guild Wars 2 is hopefully going to have a good answer to that and I hope games like World of Warcraft will build after that at some point. I mean, there's no doubt that MMOs in general have been... If, if you've been following any particular MMO, you'll see how they've evolved. And, and most of the time, you'll see some MMO coming up with a good idea, and then it just spreads out in, in the industry. Um, yeah. And same as WoW. They have, they have taken other features from other games, and other features oh, have yeah. taken oh, yeah. things from WoW. So we'll almost definitely see a lot of new stuff. And we also have the... Uh, the upcoming expansion, Mist of Medaria, that they are in beta with that right now, and they also made a ton of changes to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in in Mist of Pandaria, which will um, we'll add more to the game, we'll add new features and stuff that people have requested, and and it will change some of the mistakes they've made in in uh, Cataclysm. Um, oh, so I was thinking to go down to uh, the Bulwark, and uh, we can just fly down there. Yes. Okay. Where are if you? If I could find the bat handler. The bat handler is ah. back here. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, I don't know. Um, Blizzard has always had... made very drastic changes to every expansion. Like the talent systems... Uh, talent trees has been have been revamped multiple times to make more convenient, easier and streamlined uh, some people say it's better some people say it's worse uh, and now in Mist of Pandaria they're even gonna just completely pretty much annihilate the conventional talent tree as we know it you're just uh, gonna get a few options where you can choose certain spells to use which is actually when I think about it it's comes with more customization than it does now because now you're kind of restricted into one area but with that system we you can, can actually choose a bit more variety with what you want to do which will be we can interesting. should be able to show that any minute i suppose when we when Reading. we reach level 10 yeah um okay got, just got two quests here with those two done we should actually be level 10 i guess yeah But uh, I think there you are. Excellent. I think my biggest concern with this game is that it it stepped away all too much from being an MMO RPG uh, to being too much of a sort of mini game inside a game. We we talk about this a lot. In me and Cheese, many ways, uh, it feels like that. Yes, um, which we can say because we've been playing it a lot and been discussing this topic quite a bit. But yes. Uh, they have stepped away from requiring too much uh, organization. If you will, you can you can actually get a fairly long way without organizing yourself a whole ton. So so the, the f players can get far in this game on their own. They don't actually have to be in a guild. They don't have to play with friends because there's a lot of features that allow them to join up with other people uh, through some automatic queuing system. Mm -hmm and then just go and and kill some bosses in some dungeons or pvp or whatever just on their own but yeah uh, and they can get some perfectly good rewards by doing so but it really it just doesn't require this uh playing together that that usually have been uh no yeah, whatever what most have been all about and i think signing up for dungeons is fine but i think uh the biggest problem comes with the fact that it's it's cross realm so you are being randomly put with people from other realms which if you are doing an instance right now in this game you sign up you do the instance and you're done you never you don't even say some people don't even say hello anymore and it's really anti-social whereas this is an mmorpg and if i think back of original world of warcraft and even burning crusade I mean, people were out in the world doing all kinds of stuff all the time, farming, and then, you know, you would help each other if you needed help, and it was a lot more social when content. Yeah, sure, you sometimes spend four hours getting a group together, which would then fill 
in 10 minutes and you'd have to wait another few hours to get it working but it was a lot more social and I think uh, there needs to be found the right balance between social and fun and I think that's a pretty hard thing to do yeah indeed something that MMOs will keep uh, at least with, with, with the well, traditional system sure. that they have because this is based on a holy trinity system where you have a tank and a healer and dps so you you need to have those specific roles filled all the time if you want to do harder content and i think that's and that's yeah go speaking on. of that system um oh damn it that requires to be level 10 as well to show that i was just like going with how <laughs> each each spec has a very specific role and stuff like that yeah. uh like uh, when when they changed the, um, I think that was in Cataclysm where they introduced that concept, wasn't it? Where you yeah you tie yourself to a spec. No, actually, I think that was in Marvel Legends already. I mean, uh, you could sign up as a tank, for an instance. Oh yeah, yeah. But I was thinking that when you, when we reach level ten, we have to choose a spec actually because we yeah, can't, that's we can't that's Cataclysm, yeah, yeah. And and from there on, it's actually you're very much tied to one specific role. I mean, it's something they've been working towards. Mm, yeah. So I'll start over on this. Every class in the game has three different specs or specializations. So you have like, if if you like, I'm a warrior in it right now, and if I like to be playing it as a tank, I can I can choose to um, specialize myself as a defensive warrior, but I can also be a damage dealer instead. I'm and done. and that is something you have to choose very early on. You are of course able to respec as. Uh, as you can in, in in any good game more or less um, mm -hmm. but uh, but you choose that special system very early on and there's, there's not really any any gray areas to it anymore it's just you are either a DPS or you're a tank or you're a healer yeah nothing in between there's not even a support like you have in Rift there's actually a support class you can sign up as a support okay yeah, there was support classes, but oh well, there was classes that were designed to be support classes, but they've been working hard to get rid of them. They 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 go with the philosophy that every class should bring something, so they all support in some way. That's Blizzard philosophy. Not so that I think that's a bad way because no, you look it's at how not. But uh, the earlier support classes were designed; they were pretty horrible. Yeah, but stuff like like at least in that had to buff a lot. Yeah, that was bad, but you have to think that hybrid classes were really hybrid in the beginning of World of Warcraft. They, they, if you were a paladin, you could tank a little, you could heal a little. I mean, you weren't good at it in any of this, but you could help out when your group was about to fill. Your paladin could easily take a few hits or put on a few heals or something like that, and yeah. it worked. But they went with a strict design where everything needed to be streamlined, and you know. It works well for what it is, but it's stepping a yeah, far away a, from being. It's a being design choice. It 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 may very well work if you uh, to have a game that's more. Uh, well, we need to kill this as well. Away. Yeah, some scarlets. Yeah. If you have a game that's also based on having design cl uh, design support classes, that that might work very well as well. It's just a choice they made to say we are sticking with the holy trinity system and everybody are able to bring something to the game you shouldn't be relying on any particular class you're more or less only relying on on the different roles yeah that we but, that they have. but i think it has a lot to do with that this game became a min maxing type of game where if you're dps you go for you go you hey. just go one way and you max a certain stat and you don't have another way to go that's that's really what this game turned out to be rather than yeah. I decide what I do and it doesn't work in raids anymore either because if you s say like oh, I'm gonna be fire mage and you don't do enough damage then you're gonna be forced to be an arcane mage and I kind of find that sad that that they kind of force people into certain roles that that's yeah that's just gonna be the difficulty of it yeah. Because the community has, has turned into something that is very focused on being the best it can, or that every player must be as as good as he possibly can, which means that given you have three specs, yeah. uh, you some classes have three specs that are all DPS oriented, and mm -hmm. that means that if one of the specs performs better than the two others, players who don't 
pick that particular spec would be considered bad players, which yeah. might not be the case. They may just prefer to play like that. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so here we have level 10. Uh, level 10, you get this pop-up and you have to choose your specialization that we just talked about. Me being a hunter, the only thing I can do is being a damage dealer. There are a few pu pure DPS classes in this game, and hunter is one of them. And you, you may ask, why would I play a pure damage dealer? Because then the only thing you can do is do da deal damage. Why not play a druid that can do everything? Uh, which is a fairly good question. So, um, what am I going to be? I have no idea what are goods. I've never really played a hunter that much. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, survival because it sounds cool. So you could you could look at your special abilities you're getting and seeing what if there's anything good there. Yeah. Uh, where do you see that? Oh, there's two summaries, of course. Aim shot, explosive shot. I uh, explosive shot. I like that one. So I'm gonna go. Mm, reset. I like the sound of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very explosive. Your serpent string does an instant damage equal to 50% of the trigger. Ooh, that sounds... Learn. So you, you have to spend talents into a certain tree. And the more... Points you spend in it... No, you don't get abilities based on that, do you? No, no, you don't. That's a different game. That's Rift. So yeah, now <laughs> I have a new ability called Explosion Shove, which is completely tied to my specialization. You will be able to go into the other specializations after a certain level or after a certain amount of points after spent. After a like. certain amount of talent points yeah. have been spent in the, in the tree, which is a certain level as well. So, yeah. so um, Interesting. So I we just also just unlocked an achievement and you'll probably get another achievement right here, I guess, when you turn in these quests. You did not. Hmm, interesting. I got the 50 quest achievement. Yeah, because I remember I deleted that one quest. Murloc quest. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, they have a, a pretty... Oh, you want to go down that route? Right. Ah, oh, damn it, I wasn't able to charge you. Oh, man, that was fast. <laughs> Oh. Right. Now I got achievement. Yeah, okay. So there are achievements in the game. Uh, a lot of achievements. Some of them take a long time. Some of them are really hard, like the raiding ones. Uh, but you get really cool rewards for them, like mounts and pets. See, titles, titles, titles all kinds of cool stuff. So, you want to hop up on a max character level? And, uh, yes, let's do that. Let's see what that's about. Given that we've, we both have been playing this game before, we of course have max level characters, but we prefer to just give the introduction to the game through our level of characters, because that is what well new players are going to see. Yeah. Um, and now we'll just go and have a, bit, uh, have a look at uh, crafting and talk a bit about the end game.